Good day to each and everyone. My name is Ms. Mary B. Madalo, your vlogger for today's video. Life and works of Sir Rizal is one of the most important people in the Philippine history is Dr. Jose Protasio Rizal Mercado Y. Alonso Rialonda. Whenever I hear his name, first thing that comes to my mind is he is the national hero. My result subject has an important role to my life because I've learned more significant insights and information about Rizal's life and the importance of his works and writings. For me and my classmates, I became more aware of his sacrifices and noble deeds and ideas. It's good to know his travels, his exile and execution, his social, political, and economic ideas, the similarities of result to her to the another Filipino patriots. The first thing I noticed in Dr. Jose Rizal's life was that I believe a simple one. He did not choose to have luxurious life like the most of us has wanted. Even before he became under surveillance with the Spaniards, he had lived his life as simple as possible. I think it was the work of his parents that made him live like this. I strongly believe that one's lifestyle is influenced mostly by their parents. I've learned from the life of Jose Rizal the importance of taking part of his parents to their children's morals. I learned a lot while studying this subject. I've gained knowledge about Rizal's life and contributions to our country. I've seen Rizal are here in a different perspective. Well, some of us may just know him as our national hero, but for me, I've realized that Jose Rizal is just like us to some of us. He's had his struggles and triumph, triumphs. His life was a truly inspiring story, not just an, an ordinary story of a Filipino, but a strong, of a very intelligent and talented, talented Filipino, who is already sacrificed his whole life just to give freedom and peace to his family and own nation. For one semester, I've known who who his result is. It might not call about him, but those learnings and knowledge I learned is enough. I've learned is enough to say that myself and to other Filipino, and even that, not that he deserves to be what he was known for today, and that is the national hero of the Fili Filipino. His life was truly amazing and colorful, for the hero's experiences mold him to what God purposely do to him. Jose Rizal, for my own insights, tells me the value of a certain thing which is important for the successful of his life. That is God, family, country, and self. He could not reach us that far without God. The Lord's is the most important one who could determine our success. Just like as Rizal feared, God and in return. He has been blessed abundantly, not by material things, only by the spiritual one. That is intelligence, skills, love, and compassion. Moreover, it's all proof that pen is mightier than a sword. Thanks to Musa Rizal, for he is inspires me, and thanks for our professors, who imparts and explains all this knowledge for us. To better understand it, this book, the ideas of a nationalism, caught my attention. While others use force to fight an enemy, Rizal used the thing that he's an expert at writing. His books opened the eyes of the Philippine people to the oppression of the Spaniards. The people became more conscious of what they were experiencing experiencing and thus lead the revolutions. His idea of nationalism taught us how to love our race. It gave us an identity that we are Filipinos and that we should be proud of who we are and 
where he, where we, here we're from. I'm very thankful I have this kind of subject where we can discover more about our national heroes, life and everything and help us to appreciate it, more about his sacrifices for us. But until now, I still don't know how did we all manage to have different girls while fighting for our freedom and for our country yet and doing very good with his academics. At the same time, this is also one of the things I adore about Rizal, is how intelligent he is. All his subjects were graded as excellent. He graduated with flying colors and took up a preparatory course in law at the University of Santo Tomas. He earned two doctorates and a degree in medicine, a polymath. He was gifted in science, algebra, and a multitude, multitude of the other fields, including art and farming. He is even tried his head at sculpting. He is a lot of course and fields. Every time I think about him and all his talents, I feel proud inside of me. Well, I guess because I am a Filipino, every inch of his life taught us as a lesson. Every one of his doings were dedicated for his country, for every Filipinos, and for our freedom. His love to his fellow Filipino has nothing to compare with, with. I can say that Rizal is a very humane, compassionate, and benevolent citizen. He has a dealt in social problems through his popular popular books, No Limitangere and El Filibusterismo. He is an ambassador of social justice and equality, which is a very good thing that we should follow. If there were only thousands of persons like Rizal, I believe our society will be in a good condition. I always hope I could be like him in some areas of his life, but I know that is a far from reality to happen. It reminds me of our professor in this subject. He always says that you can also be resolved. You just need to study more and take it seriously. Read and read and read and read. But what I am doing is that I am performing at my best making every effort to become a productive individual in different aspects of life. And now, our country finally restored its liberty and freedom because of its of a series of efforts and love. His works and novel deeds greatly influenced the Filipinos. It is indeed a good reference for the country in education in, develop, in developing students' patriotism. Filipino owe him a lot. I wish someday his sacrifices never faded and be forgotten even in the next and next generations of good Filipinos. Let us at least recognize all of his deeds as a payment for, for all of it and least we honor him with our heart and soul. And that would be all. Thank you.